Have you ever seen a camera at a traffic light, and do you believe that it's only there for the police to spy on you or to catch you running red lights? Well, you may be wrong. Let me show you what exactly they do. You see, these cameras are actually set up as sensors designed to pick up vehicles as they approach stop bars at traffic lights. As this vehicle here is sitting on this stop bar, you can see that it is putting in a call for the phase that he is on and it will then cycle the intersection for him to get the green light. So as long as this vehicle is sitting at the stop bar and that camera is detecting him, you'll see that he is about to get the green light over on this approach. These lights are about to go green for him to be able to clear through this intersection. And there you go, that is all done through vehicle detection as these cameras work to pick up your vehicles at intersections to make your commute a little more efficient. But here at this intersection, we have had an ongoing issue with one of these cameras that are mounted up on this mast arm over here. We finally got one that we can replace this camera with. So I have it in the bucket truck and we're gonna go up and take down the old camera that's having issues and we're gonna put up a different one and get that one sent back to iTerrace so they can take a look into it and see what the issue is. This is an up close look at one of these multi sensors we have here. One side is a radar over here and then obviously this over here is the camera and this is the one that we are having issues with. So what I need to do is remove these two bands and disconnect this Cat5 cable that's powering and communicating with this device. And then we can get it taken down and get it replaced with a different one. All right, here's a little bit better of a view of the camera that you would see at a traffic intersection. This is the radar right behind it. It's hard to tell, but there is a box back in here that you can adjust the radar. And there is a radar on the back side of all this plastic. And then you got the camera here and it is a iTerris Vector multi-sensor. This is what you would typically see at a traffic intersection. Now this one is having issues, so let's go ahead and set it down on the bucket truck down here. And then we will grab this one and we'll go ahead and mount it onto the mast arm above. All right guys, we have the new one installed, banded down. Now we just need to hook up this Cat5 cable. This one I am going to have to open up this top and I'll show you the little process board on the inside and then the wiring to that board. So let's go ahead and remove this guy. And here we go. So this is what the inside of one of these cameras look like. The process board that communicates and connects to the camera, the radar, and then the Cat5 cable that runs all the way back to the signal controller cabinet across the street. And you'll see here, this is the wiring diagram that we got to do on this Cat5 inside of this process or inside of this terminal block here and we should have everything working properly so i'm gonna go ahead and strip back my cat 5 cable get it all stripped down to land inside of this guy and get it all hooked up we have this wired up it's ready to go i just need to go ahead and close this up and then i'm going to set up these cameras and try to line them up with the lane it needs to be facing as best as i can and then we'll get over to that signal controller cabinet and get this guy programmed. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe. Let's get right back into it. We have this camera all covered back up, ready to go. Camera's aimed pretty much right in the middle of that median in between the left turn lane and through lanes. We got to do some stop bar zones on the through lanes here on the left turn lanes. And then the radar is going to handle the advanced detection. So let's get back to the traffic signal controller cabinet and get this guy programmed. All right, we are back at the traffic signal controller cabinet. Uh, let's go ahead and take this Cat5 and plug it into this lightning arrestor, which is then followed through and plugged into this port here. And let's see, we are getting that indication light on. The other radar camera combo was not giving us that indication, meaning there's usually typically issues with it. And as you can see, the video feed is popping up for this camera, so we can go ahead and get this guy programmed. And of course, some more issues. Move ports around, and it looks like the port two on this ECU is having a little bit of a quirky issue. I went ahead and just power cycled it, waiting for it to boot all the way back up. Uh, but if you're another tech like me, and you love maintenance calls, then start running this iTerris Next system, because you'll have plenty of them. Half the time they work great. 
The other half is doing nothing but issues like it's doing here. I've already went through and deleted and rezoned everything, then it kicked me off. And now it's actually letting me delete the zones, thankfully. So, to program these cameras, it's pretty easy. You can draw in a zone, once you have it set up. And then I like to get my lane structure kind of based up. It's kind of hard with one hand, but I'm gonna do my best. Come down to one zone. We're outputting that one to TS2 phase five. There's gonna be a left turn. And then it's kind of just copy one zone to the other. And now we have all our zones drawn up for phase five. I'll go ahead and get some zones drawn up for phase two. And then when I hit send right here, that will send this configuration to the CCU and it should work like normal. Like it should have went right out the box, but wasn't. Uh, the radar is already set up on this guy. So the radar I've already been watching and it has been working, thankfully. So let me get the mother zones drawn in. Let me hit send and get this configuration to the CCU so we can get this intersection back up and running and have good working detection. And there we have it. As you can see, nobody is on this approach and we no longer have any calls held on on phase two or five, which is what this radar camera combo was picking up. So it looks like our issue is solved and these people will have a much more efficient commute coming through this intersection. And as always, thanks for watching.